Thank you very much. It's great to be here. Uh, so here we are at IBC and every year we go into these shows and what we try to provide is the next range of solutions for people's workflow problems. So a couple of announcements at the show, some very simple. Uh, we have a new router here. So this is what we call the Kumo 32 by 32. So simply got 32 in, 32 outs and that just gives a lot more flexibility. You'll see it's extremely thin. Um, and we've also added Grass Valley protocol support, which a lot of folks have been looking for in terms of in the router space. So that just makes it a lot more useful uh, within your standard workflows at the moment. We also have, uh, for quick editing on the go, uh, we have the finally released the AJA T-Tap. So the T-Tap is a um, little Thunderbolt to SDI and HDMI outputs. Uh, so this is available for shipping ordering right now. And uh, as we've seen on the stand elsewhere, this means effectively that when you're in the field doing a news piece, uh, anything like that, you can go and find a broadcast monitor wherever you are and just simply plug this into your laptop with whatever editing system you're using uh, so you make sure you get the cut you need and you're looking at it in the correct formats, etc. Where we're currently standing is a very interesting piece of new technology. Uh, one of the big drives in the industry right now, if you go around the floor, is, is 4K. Uh, and the reason 4K is important is it's the first time in a while that we're getting a format size that's going to really serve well as a master. Uh, you can think about it in the past. You, film was always so popular because you could go back to the negative time and time again. This year we make DVDs, next year Blu-rays, next year iTunes, etc. So within the broadcasting space, even though it's unlikely you're going to be pushing out 4K for delivery, 4K on the recording side is very important. So here with Corvid and Ultra, we have a case, uh, the material you're seeing, for instance, is an F65 that's been shot at 60 uh, progressive frames per second, which is pretty immense. And for broadcasters, what we've done with this Corvid Ultra is we have the ability to do what's called arbitrary scaling. So we have the big 4K monitor where you've seen everything, and then there's two smaller monitors to the left and right, which are actually our HDSDI outputs. So on the screen here, I can come through, and if we just take a quick look, I'll put this down, take a quick look here. I can literally frame up the material. So if we're looking behind me here, Here's the 4K. I can scroll in, zoom in, much like I was operating a camera itself. Pull back out, and you'll see that the level of detail is extremely high. So out of a single 4K image, we can get multiple HD SDI images. So if you're a broadcaster, especially in the sports arena, it's going to make a lot of sense. There are so many more 4K cameras on the market now. Uh, utilize one for your live work and you're always going to have the option to pick exactly what you want from that very large frame. So it's very exciting times uh, and as you can tell we just keep continuing to push with Thunderbolt and we continue to push with 4K. And for those of you that might already be utilizing uh, KeyPro products, earlier this year we brought out the KeyPro Rack. They've been selling very well into the broadcast space because they are one RU. Uh, they take a standard KeyPro drive and we're pleased to say that we've got a new line of drives there. This one is the standard FireWire 800, but we now offer USB 3.0 as well, especially if you're working on Windows, that might be more convenient. And for either drive, there's now a new dock where you can insert the drive. And on the back of it, you've got USB 3.0 and Thunderbolt. So a lot of flexibility. And just a reminder that Thunderbolt is moving very quickly now into the Windows space as well. A little earlier this year, we announced alongside Intel that we will have drivers, etc., for all our products on the Windows side. So you can expect to see this protocol showing up in a lot more places.